So today we're going to talk about auditory illusions, and I will play for you this one-minute audio clip, um, and let's see if you can hear anything strange or weird uh, from this sound. This auditory illusion is called Shepard Tone, and it was named after Roger Shepard. And to be able to make a Shepard Tone, you will need a computer and an audio editing software. The sound consists of a few superimposed or overlaid tones, or sounds, separated by octaves. Uh, when played, the tones are one octave apart from each other, and they glide upward in pitch following the exact same path. But what is an octave? So if you look at the keys on a piano, you will see a pattern of 12 notes that repeats all throughout the keys. Every time the pattern is repeated, you are basically playing exactly the same notes, but one octave higher. This auditory illusion is very similar to a barber pole. Uh, you can think of it as a musical uh, barber pole. And a barber pole is constantly turning, and the lines seem to move up or down the pole endlessly. And the lines are printed or painted onto a cylinder, and it is actually this cylinder that is turning, not the lines. Therefore, it gives an illusion that the lines are moving up or down when they are not. So here I try to recreate the same auditory illusion. Uh, this one's just a little faster, so it's more apparent. And so basically, these two graphs are spectrograms or spectroscopes, and we use them to see sound. So it's a visual representation of sound. And uh, these two are very similar. The only difference is that this one, we have uh, the frequency or pitch in the x-axis or horizontal uh, axis. So that means that these sounds over here are a lot lower in pitch than the sounds up here. And then this is volume. So uh, sounds like these sounds are higher in volume than these ones. So this is a lot of volume, very loud, and this is very quiet, silent. This other graph is very similar, so we have time in the x-axis, or this horizontal axis, so we can see here, this is time, this bar moving to the right, that's just the passing of time, and this is frequency, or pitch, so these sounds over here are higher in pitch than these ones, so these black lines here, that means these are very low uh, frequencies, or very low sounds, while these ones up here, this means that they are very high pitched sounds. So here, uh, the, the shepherd tone, basically what it's doing is it has different, let's say, 10 different sounds that are moving up in pitch. And as they move up in pitch, they also move down in volume. So here we can see that, you know, these sounds are moving, they're up, 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 they're going higher. And that's the same thing we can see here. The sounds are moving up in pitch. But as they move up in pitch, they move down in volume. So I also wanted to show you this. Um, so again, here I have like 10, 12 different sounds. I will just, I'll mute the 12 sounds and I'll just leave one. So here it's just one. And we can see it's this black line. And it's moving up in pitch. There, it's moving up. Gradually, very slowly. And here we can see it's also moving up in pitch and it's moving down in amplitude. We can see it's getting lower and lower and lower and lower. Now, the other very interesting thing about sound is that we only hear sound in a certain frequency range. What that means is that we don't, for example, right now we can't hear any sound because it's super low and we, the human ear cannot hear sound that is super low. Or it can also not hear sounds that are super high. We can only hear sound in between a certain range. So 
Uh, that's why we'd uh, stop hearing that, that uh, sound if it goes way too high over here in pitch or way too low. But once it's, it's here in, a, in an audible frequency range, now we can hear it. Again, we can see it's moving up in pitch and it's moving down in volume. So again, if I, here, I, I'll put all the sounds uh, together at once. And again, we can see the same thing. And so basically, um, to summarize everything, what happens is that once these uh, very high pitch sounds are moving down in, in volume, so we stop hearing them. And once we stop hearing them, we start hearing the other sounds that are behind them. So it's kind of like a, like a, a musical barber pole. You know, as, as, one, as one sound uh, fades away, the other one is coming in right, be right behind it.